Hey, um, so just kind of going to go over a little brief tutorial on how to um, zoom a meet and greet to get uh, cats uh, out to their forever homes. Um, so first things first on my little phone here, um, you could just go over to Zoom. And I went ahead and scheduled the appointments as our virtual counselor uh, makes those appointments and wait a while. I'll go ahead and make them in Zoom just because it's easier for me. Might be easier for you, who knows. Um, so today uh, we have a 12.30 appointment to meet with Munchkin. And Munchkin, if you want to come on over here, is this gorgeous floof. And she happens to also be a tripod. So she'll be meeting with her uh, meet and greet potential adopter uh, probably within the next minute. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this up. And uh, see if they can even try to not fall in love with her. Which I don't think that's going to be possible. So. Hi, Tatiana. Hi. How's it going? Good. Fantastic. Uh, so, so you're ready to meet with the new, with your new soulmate, Munchkin? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. So yeah. Um, so let me go ahead and flip this little camera thingy over here. And here she is. Hi, Mama. She's so pretty. She is. She's the prettiest thing ever. So, um, I am not a veterinarian. I don't pretend to be. Um, so, uh, you'd have somebody who actually has uh, a uh, license in veterinary medicine or, you know, kind of knows a bit more about it to tell you, like, the scope of what it's going to be like to have a tripod kitty, any post-surgical care, that kind of stuff. Because you see there's obviously stitches there. Um, she came in uh, just after having surgery. Um, okay. So, it's, you know, it's still very, very, um, you know, present and apparent that she is, you know, uh, healing from from the surgery. Oh goodness, you're perfect. Hi, soft. Hey, mama. All right, so let me go ahead and flip you back on over on the phone, and we can go ahead and give her a test drive. Hey, mama. Yeah, we've had different tripods that have kind of come through um, in the past, which is totally fine, and it doesn't ever seem to slow them down. Um, yeah, see, she sees there's other cats in there. Oh, go ahead and stretch that good leg. There you mm -hmm. go. So Lucy is still finishing up the meet and greet, but everything seems to be going well. And if she decides at the end of it that she will adopt Munchkin, then the next step will be to let us know, yes, affirmative, I'm going to adopt Munchkin. And we have a team of offsite counselors who are actually doing adoptions remotely. And they will send all of the paperwork with information that they need to know about Munchkin. They'll get in contact with the clinic so that the clinic can do that medical consult that she mentioned a little bit about over the phone. And she knows what to expect for that, that medical care that she needs. And then they'll be able to do the paperwork and finalize the adoption all over the internet and then we'll be able to box her up on site and have a runner deliver her new kitty to her car so that we can minimize contact and keep everybody safe.